What's up YouTube? This is your boy Dr. ZZ. You must be at a time in your life where you must be thinking which one of the exams should you do? Should you go for the USMLE? Should you do for the club? Everything is so confusing. Do not worry, I'm gonna break it down. Let's get to it. So let's ask the most simple question. Where do you want to be living? Do you want to be living in the US? Then go ahead, do USMLE. Or do you want to be living in the UK? Then it is flat. All right, great, we're done over here. <laughs> I know, I know, we're gonna get a little bit more deeper than this. Don't worry, I got more for you. Let's dive a little bit deeper to compare the two exams so that you know which one suits the best for you. Let's begin with looking at the exam format and what each exam comprises. USMLE has three exams. Step one, which comprises of 280 questions, which is based on the most basic sciences that you study between first year to third year of medical school. Next, you have step two, CK, which is around 318 single best answers comprising of the clinical type of questions. Then you have the step two, CS, which is the final exam, which is the OSCE. Lab, on the other hand, has two exams. Lab one, which is around 180 questions comprising of single best answers on clinical scenarios. And then lab two, which is is a OSCE which has 18 stations that you will get in the exam. So now let's look at the preparation time of how much you need to study for these exams. So starting off with the USMLE. USMLE step one is ideally usually done in third year of medical school. This is because step one comprises of all the basic sciences in medicine, such as anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, pathophysiology. But regardless, even if you're preparing for it after medical school, I think a minimum amount of time that you would need to pass your step one would be at least a good 12 months of preparation because you have to study all of these questions quite in detail and have a strong grasp in all the the basic science. Step 2 CK would be more clinically related question and preparation time for this would take another good six months. Step 2 CS is an OSCE exam so a decent preparation time for this exam would be around a good two to three months. As you need to understand that USMLE is a very deep exam and they dive deep into the theoretical nitty-gritty details of all the basic sciences hence why it is highly recommended to do this while you're in medical school because it's very difficult to study for these exams while you are holding a job looking at PLAB so you have to understand that PLAB can only be done once you have completed your medical school and received your degree preparation for PLAB 1 can take a good three to four months so PLAB 1 exam focuses a lot more on the clinical aspects and gives you clinical type of questions so due to that you know it's more doable because you have already been practicing following your medical school although you do need some theory it's not as deep as USMLE hence why it is quite easy to prepare for this exam with a job. Lab 2 exam is an OSCE exam and generally a good four to six weeks of preparation time is sufficient. I personally prepared for Lab 2 within six weeks. So yeah, it's uh, much more doable. So the fact is that Lab is a very concise exam and due to this, it is quite easy to study for the Lab exam while you're holding a full-time job. So next we're going to look at the cost of these exams. We're only going to be looking at the examination fees. Additional costs such as visa fee, flight expenses will not be included just to keep it simple. Looking at USMLE, step one is around $940. Step two CK is also $940. And step two CS is $1,580. On the other hand, for the PLAB exam, you have to do IELTS or OET first. IELTS is around $180 and OET is around $400. PLAB one exam is around $460. PLAB two exam is around $1,200. So PLAB exam is relatively cheaper compared to USMLE. So next we're going to look at how easy it is to find the jobs in two countries. Looking at the US, you have to understand with USMLE, marks really matter. That's why you have to make sure that you do not just pass your USMLE exam, but rather get very high marks so that you can match with the residency of your choice. So due to this, it is slightly a little bit more tougher to land a job of your choice in the US. UK on the other hand needs more doctors at this point, due to which it is relatively easy to get the job that you want as soon as you get your GMC registry. Unlike USMLE where marks really matter for you to get your residency, for a PLAB, a simple pass is good enough for you to get a job. All right, next, the most important thing probably is what is the pay scale like in both of these countries? So the starting salary in the US is approximately around 68,000 US dollars per year, whereas in the UK, it's around 28,000 pounds, which is approximately 38,000 US dollars. The average salary in the US is around 294,000 US dollars, whereas in the UK, the average salary is around 60,000 pounds, which is approximately around 91,000 dollars. So in view of pay, US actually pays higher than UK. So let's round the whole thing up between US and UK. US, more exams. UK, less exams. US, more prep time. UK, less prep time. US, marks matter. UK, marks do not matter. US, more tough to get a job. UK, comparatively easy to get a job. US, higher exam fees. UK, lower in comparison. US higher pay, UK lower in comparison. So there you have it guys, a quick comparison between USMLE and PLAB. I hope this video can help you decide which exam you want to do. So that's about it for this video guys. I hope this video helps. Make sure you like this video, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.